Okay, let's take a look at an example of a sampling distribution and a histogram that goes along with it. And um, we're going to um, be bringing in our uh, information from the file again. So, uh, set my working directory. And I got it saved under TMP2. And I'm going to read, read in the file, read the CSV. And uh, what's what I call it? Uh, population one, not CSV. Again, this is what our file looks like, and we're going to be sampling the height. Uh, so that's specifically what I'm going to focus on. Um, now I'm going to um, be sampling based upon that. But I want to sample over and over. So we're going to create a sequence or an array uh, that we can use. And we're going to plug zeros in. And uh, was that 100,000? Yeah, there's 100,000. Now I want to loop for i in. And we're going to start with 1 and we'll go up to 100,000. Is I want to I want to build that entire array. So then, um, let me see. Um, I think I'm gonna do this um, in two two passes. Um, I want to bring in a sample first. Um, X sample, and then this was uh, we looked at this already where you can do a sample and then you tell it uh, P dollar sign height and uh, bring in uh, 100 out of there. So randomly sample 100, um, 100 entries, it'll put them into this, and then I want to calculate the mean of this. Uh, so the mean of x sample can be the mean of x samp and I want to assign that to my sequence my array now my array I'm going to have i uh, equals mean x sample okay so when this gets um with done running uh, then I should have a bunch of um, I think in a hundred in the sample I've done it 100,000 times, and then I've stored off um, stored off the mean of it. Okay. Just for fun, let's print that. Um, for i in 1 to 100,000. Maybe I won't do 100,000. I'll do 100. Since I'm going to stop it. I would stop it anywhere if it would go in 100,000 lines. And print array i. Yeah, I think I got everything I need so far. I've been lying. I got some something on my code. Let me look at it. Uh, let's see, population one. That's weird. Nothing printed. No error, or nothing. Okay. For, for I in in. Okay. I. Yeah. Now, by the way, you can have anything besides I, but I refers to an index. So I is a very easy one. So it doesn't like something. Oh, yeah, I do have an error. I was just going to scroll up. Okay. No, no error there. Let me clear that off. Oh, it's printing. Takes a little while to run. Okay. Um, so that shows you. Um, now I'm going to 
Well, that hadn't done from before. <laughs> Again, taking a while. I'm going to get rid of this now. But realize that uh, each one of those in that array, in that sequence, is a, a sample mean. So it's a mean of a, one of the samples. So at this point, um, I want to create a histogram based upon that. Now, all of my sample means are stored in my ARR A -R -R sequence or array. So let's run this. Let some of you patient. It does take a little while for it to go through 100,000. A sample of sampling 100 each. And this shows you our distribution. So this is a distribution of the sample means, is what we found here. Now, um, if you're using the R, just a regular R package, um, it'll pop up, I think, with a window. Um, but in um, R Studio, it's over here in a plots window. And at this point, you could export it and save it as an image or PDF or whatever. But that's how to build a um, uh, sampling distribution, and specifically a histogram of the sampling distribution, and specifically based upon sample means.